So right now, man, right now we're, 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 it's preparing us and it's endurable, nor will. No? But so the, the elect are the only ones who are going to be uh, in that security with that, with that spiritual hedge. Everybody else is going to just be dropping like bad habits, like, like flies, man. He's going to be dying. Because the Lord already says he's going to send out plagues into this world. It's like he's going to get a can of raid and he's going to spray it all over the earth like that. He's spraying the, all those plagues, that raid, and, it, and it's going to kill everything that's, that's, not, uh, 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 that's not immune to that. Only the elect are going to be able to get away from that. They're the only ones that are going to be immune to those plagues. Why? Because Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to be protecting them. It's like when you go back to the time of Moses, when he delivered them out of the land of Egypt. Well, what, what was their hedge? Yahweh was shy, but what did he tell? What, help, what did he tell them to do? To, to do the blood, to, to cut the lamb the, without blemish, and put the blood on the on the, uh, the doorpost. That was their protection. These people are not protected with the blood of Yahweh Shai. The spirit. Y'all gonna perish it. A horrible death. A horrible death. Like the scriptures say in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, I believe, chapter 2, that uh, uh, this generation is gonna uh, die horribly. And I'm gonna continue on in 2nd Edra 16 to 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Right, because it said prior up to that, uh, that that Esau is going to be destroying like mad men, uh, trying to find out or trying to destroy the ones who fear the Lord. Well, Esau, even you two thirds are going to be like mad men, like beasts, man. Yeah. They ain't going to have no food. Yeah, you, some of you men that depend on women that are so carnal that you need a woman every day, and when you break up with one, you you're, you need to get one right then and there. You're going to be raping women. You're going to be like mad men. Esau's gonna, he's already a madman. He's a mad scientist, but he's going to show, like the other elders and the brothers are saying, he's going to show his true horns. And that's what's coming. You know, when he comes in with his artillery, you know, his, uh, his weapons of, of mass destruction, you know, he's going to be he's gonna be using them things. When it, when it, ever, ever since they brought out the taser gun, they didn't just keep it in the holster. They eventually brought it out and started ta tasing people. They didn't just, they didn't just uh, create it for it not to be used. They used it. The same way they're going to use every other device that they, they create on, on, on you two-thirds. But really, that's that's the, that's the most side, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. He's using Esau as a whipping stick to afflict and to destroy you two-thirds. That's his creation. The Lord said he created evil and good. You know? Read it, uh... Verse 74, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. Right, because we're just men. And it's going to be like, it's going to get to the point where you're going to be like, you're going to, you're going to be at your, or like what Elder Gabar said it, you're going to be at your lowest point ever in your life, ever. And these, and these times, like I said, the troubles are there, the days of trouble are at hand. We're in days of trouble right now, but it's not, it's, it's, nothing, it's nothing to be compared to what we're going to have to go through, man. It's going to be, man, like, Look like crazy, like you said. You should be, you should be like mad. You're gonna be hearing screaming in the distance, beasts over here screaming, yelling, guns going off, you know, smoke blazing up in the air, light poles falling over, just, it, people's limbs flying every place. It's just gonna be crazy, man. Mil military dudes getting shot up too. It's, it's gonna be like a, it's ba gonna, babies crazy. are gonna die. Your your women are gonna die. You're gonna see your, your your mothers and your fathers are gonna die here in the streets, man. Like the scripture said, I can't remember what book, I think it's Micah, I'm not sure. But it said, it talks about the women, there's two women, they got two babies, and the one woman said, let us save my baby today and eat yours tomorrow. 
you're gonna be like you're gonna be seeing that two women in the corner chewing on a little baby's head or something man you're gonna be like what the hell they're gonna be looking like demons man yeah, and, that, and that's that's a curse too because you go to uh, Deuteronomy 28 and it tells you that the woman's gonna uh, t turn uh, have an evil eye or evil look to the her fruit of her of her womb you know even the father's gonna do the same thing with their kids man that's fucking that that's wicked that's evil and you gotta be a, a crazy person to, to want to eat your child. That's why we're in a time of grace and the Lord is all about fasting and mortifying the flesh because the flesh is, is a powerful, uh, 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 it's, a, it's powerful, man. And it's our test. These people that are carnal, these two thirds, man, they're gonna be doing that. They're gonna be eating bodies. They're gonna be eating raw flesh. They'll do anything just to get that, that belly filled. But the elect, the scriptures say, the elect are not going to go hungry. We get that in Mike, uh, Isaiah. We ain't gonna, we ain't, we're not going to eat no defiled thing. If we're the elect, we're not. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to eat good. But it won't not the way we are going to eat when we get into the kingdom. When we get in here, we're going to eat everything. Everything's going to be delicious. <laughs> everything's going to be at its per, at its, at its, at its perfection. Uh, this is Isaiah 65 and 11. But ye, but ye are they that uh, start up. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, to the point, right? Start up. Yeah. That's the part. Where it said, uh, verse 13 is where it starts. That part. Lord. Uh, Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold. Right. This is the Lord prophesying this. He's the one that's telling us what to expect. Not uh, us. Not our interpretation. The Bible breaks itself down. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. I'll start off from where. Oh, sure. Okay, okay that, that was it. Uh, Isaiah 65 and 11. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Right, which is the RFID chip. Y'all are going to open, open y'all's arms to when that comes, man. To, to when Esau comes in. Y'all gonna accept Y'all gonna bow down to it? Y'all gonna do it all over again? Give yourselves up, over to tribute? Even more, furthermore, to the point, it's an abomination this time, though. To the point where you're not gonna be delivered. You're gonna be destroyed for it. What? Therefore, will I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Right, yeah, I was shy. He's gonna do that to you. He's already said it. Because if you I, don't, it, that's in the Old Testament. A lot of you people don't believe in the Old Testament. I tell you the same thing in the New Testament. The Lord said in uh, Luke, He told His uh, servants, "Go and bring those hither that that I, that I should not reign over them and slay them before me." Uh, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Right, you're gonna have to. You're, you're gonna have to die. You ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it. You, ain't, you can't give no gold, silver. You ain't going to try to give up your daughter to be a prostitute. Nah, none of that's going to uh, uh, deliver you from your reward. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear. But did evil before my eyes and did choose that word I delighted not. Right. The Lord don't delight in you two-thirds, man. And I'm not, I'm not even going to go into what y'all do because we already explained that enough. Like all the other brothers, they explained it enough. There's so many videos on YouTube and dailymotion.com that are out there for, for you to understand that. And it's obvious. But the Lord, the Lord don't delight in you two-thirds. He don't delight in the world, man. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. See? He said his servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. That's where you're gonna be eating bodies. Right? My, uh, you're gonna, yeah, you, that's what you're, you're gonna be eating dead carcasses, dead animals, all the abominable bugs. You start eating your own body yourself. Oh. Uh, behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Oh, right, and it says you're going to be thirsty. But you go to uh, the Apocryphal in the same chapter, the second Andrews, I believe, what is it? Uh, 15. It said that you're going to be drinking blood in the mountains, which is cannibalism. 
Hey, well, we say do that up in, uh, I think it's Normandy, no, not Normandy, but I think it starts with an end. But they show it on, t they show it to you on uh, that Wild Boys thing with Steve O and Chris Pontius. They have, they have people that drink reindeer blood. They put alcohol in it and they drink it and they do it as a game too. Fucking nasty. I almost threw up when I seen it happen too, man. Uh, but ye shall be, uh, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall seek for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. Right, see, he's gonna call, he's gonna call us by another name, man. We're gonna receive another, a new name when we go into the king. But you, you other two thirds, y'all two thirds are gonna die a shameful death. Y'all gonna be destroyed, man. And that's what's coming to America. Destruction's coming to America. And there's no stopping it. We don't care if you don't believe. Get Romans 3. We don't care if you don't if you don't believe, man. This is the most I already told Ezekiel. If they hear, let them hear. If they forbear, let them forbear. Alright. All, all we do is to do our job, to put out these prophecies and to show and to uh Show forth this light and to uh, uh, bear witness to the truth. Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Shall, shall you two thirds, you two thirds that don't believe that America is going to be destroyed, shall, shall y'all make these prophecies without effect? God forbid. Oh, they're going to come to pass, man. Yea, let God be true. But every man a liar. Right, his prophecies are true. But y'all are liars, man. The Most High is not like you. He's, he's, he's a man of his word. If you don't believe in his word, all right, go on your way. And then we're going to wait. When that day comes, we're going to see who was right and wrong. And like it said in Ezekiel 33, verse 33, that when all these things shall come, then thou shalt know that a prophet hath been among them. Because that's what a prophet does. A prophet goes and tells things of what, what things are about to come say before then you're gonna know but it's gonna be too late like wisdom of solomon said chapter five 